What's up gamers? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get really cool mass outbreaks like the ones you're seeing right now on screen. The rare powerful Pokemon that you desire to hunt, not just the little baby forms. Before we go further into the video, I do want to give a big shout out to N9Kai. This guy has grinded really hard on getting the information for this and was one of the first people. So I've linked his channel down below. Have you ever found yourself struggling to try to get a mass outbreak? You're, you're looking all over your map. You're like, how are these other people online getting really cool ones? And I was a victim to this as well. And what normal people do is we open up our game, we jump forward, and we hope that we get something cool on the map for the next day. But what if I told you that there was a better way to do that? And you just don't have to jump around, change the map, and then look around, wait for the mass outbreak. And then search your map because this is really inefficient way of doing this like every single time going through your whole map it's not it so here is exactly how it's going to be done step one i've linked serebi as well down in the description below i'm going to pull up the list so we can take a look at all the mass outbreaks that are available that way you can cross reference this when searching these up okay so for example they have the mass outbreaks on the website here and you can see which ones you want to go for but pay attention because you might think I want an Annihilate outbreak, but guess what? It's not going to be there. It's only a Primate outbreak. So that's why I'm giving you this to cross-reference and you can see which are the really rare Pokemon that you want to find. Because just because they're in your Pokedex does not mean they're going to be in the game. And as I'm scrolling down the list, I'm looking for really cool Pokemon. And one of the first cool Pokemon that I thought would be really great and why you click this video is... Yo, I want to find a Lucario outbreak. I think that would be pretty sick because I haven't found... Lucario outbreak in the game. I tried popping fighting sandwiches. I got no luck getting a bunch of Lucario and I thought this would be the best way to hunt it. And it also showed up as one of the mass outbreaks. So what you have to do is basically open up your Pokedex. When you open up your Pokedex and select the Pokemon itself, you're then going to select the habitat by hitting the plus button. Once you select the habitat, you'll then get orange markers on your screen indicating the location of the Pokemon and where they should be exactly and where they spawn. Once you have figured out the general location of where that Pokemon spawns, you're then going to want to head on your way towards that location. So just run and dart to that area. Just general area. It doesn't have to be an exact perfect match. Just somewhere where the orange marks are. Once you arrive at those orange marked areas, you're simply going to do this. You're going to start to do your date reset. And a really good tip that I can tell you is open up the in-game map. And when your in-game map is open, start to date skip i did a couple of date skips forward by one day and eventually it did show up on the map as you can see over here and i was kind of shocked that there was a lucario outbreak because i'd never seen one in my life and this was very exciting so i marked it up on the map and headed towards it and once i was there and i was extremely shocked there were so many lucario everywhere in this mass outbreak i've never seen this many lucario in the game I wasted a lot of time looking at them, letting them gather around me, taking pictures. So I wanted to really get a shiny Pokemon out of this video. So what I did was I knocked out 60 Lucarios. I did some picnic resets. I ran back and forth to despawn them. And eventually after one picnic reset, I did see my beautiful Lucario. It was right there, the yellow Lucario, the shiny Lucario. And I tried to go up to it and get some pictures, bump into it for the right thumbnail shot, as you can see over here. And then eventually I finally was able to catch it. If you are enjoying this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button as it does help support the channel a lot and it makes me know that you guys like content like this. But the most exciting part about the discovery was that all I had to do was put myself in the location of the Pokemon spawn and you can use your Pokedex to do it along with cross-referencing Cerebi. I also wanted to try this out on Gardevoir. So I searched up Gardevoir and I checked Cerebi's website to make sure the cross-reference lined up and it was a mass outbreak and it was a location on the map. So I went there and tried to get it to spawn. So I went to the general area and reset my dates. Eventually it did spawn and it was in a very snowy area. A problem with the Gardevoir outbreak was that once it turned into nighttime, they just stopped spawning. So it looks like Gardevoir was a daytime spawn only and when it becomes night, it stops. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the shiny in the video for you, but I just wanted to show that, hey, I was also able to get Gardevoir as one of the spawns in the game. After that, I then wanted to challenge myself and see if I could get a Zororark because this is also on the mass outbreak list on Cerebi's website. And Zororark is going to be a very difficult one. So what I did was I opened up my Pokedex. I looked up Zororark, saw the location, and it was marked up in the really orange, fally area across the lake on the map and once i knew the spot i went over there but i noticed it's sometimes hard to get rare pokemon to spawn on the map 
And Zoroark is one of the rare ones, and you're getting a giant outbreak of them. So once I was able to get it after skipping a lot of dates, I headed over to the spot. But believe it or not, because Zoroark disguises as other Pokemon, this one might actually be the hardest mass outbreak I've ever seen. In fact, it's just a bunch of random Pokemon. It's disguised. So if you're able to pull off this challenge, get a Zoroark mass outbreak, and get the shiny Zoroark out of it, hats off to you. But I think this is one of the greatest challenges. It was able to disguise as so many Pokemon that when I went into auto battle, sometimes I didn't even realize I was bumping into it. So I had to lock onto all my targets and start isolating which ones are different in order to figure out where it was. Eventually, I wanted to capture one clip of me at least bumping into it for one fight, so that way you could see it. But Zoroark, insanely rare, and it's one of the hardest ones to do the hunting in. But good luck to anyone who is able to pull that one off. Another rare outbreak that I did want to test was Evolutions because Evolutions do appear on the map and they're also pretty rare. At first, I opened up my map and my goal was to get an Umbreon. So I went over to the Psychic Town all the way at the bottom left of the map because that's where the Umbreon was marked. And I started to date skip, date skip, date skip. Eventually, I saw that, oh, I got a Sylveon that spawned up and that's pretty rare to even get a Sylveon spawn. So I abandoned the Umbreon hunt and went for the Sylveon spawn because that's also very hard to get. So Evolutions are pretty difficult to get and some third evolution Pokemon forms might be a little harder to get. Maybe you're lucky on the date skip when you're doing this. And like I said, open up your map when you're doing the date skip because when you do the date skip while the map is open, you can quickly go back to the date skip again. The map stays open and the Pokemon refresh in that general area. It was kind of crazy to see that many Sylveons in one spot. The only Sylveon I was used to was the one outside of the Team Star base all the way up north. So I did the whole entire Knockout 60 Pokemon and then I started to despawn, respawn, do the picnic method, and eventually a shiny Sylveon showed up and I was also able to catch it. So this just proves that yes, it 100% works. All you have to do is make sure that one, that is an actual Pokemon spawn. So I cross reference that with Cerebi. Two, you're gonna open up your Pokedex and make sure that you are paying attention to where the habitat is. You're gonna make sure to fly to that place, do a bunch of date skips there, and eventually that Pokemon spawn will show up and you can mass outbreak hunt that with no problem, guaranteeing you some amazing shiny Pokemon. Now you can take the actual testing that we've done in terms of where to put yourself on the map in order to get the right outbreaks and apply this to either your local multiplayer or your co-op multiplayer. And when you put this into the multiplayer aspect, a lot of crazier things can happen in the game. So if the host is going to host a multiplayer session in the union circle, they're going to be the ones that are going to go to the certain location and they'll be able to date skip. Yes, we've tested out the date skipping and date skipping does work for the host. Now, what you can get to spawn can be tested out further by you guys. So let me know down in the comments below what findings you are doing or what is working for you. And also, we have a really cool video on the whole multiplayer shiny hunting and how you can legally duplicate your shiny Pokemon. So go ahead and check out this video over here. It's actually insane what you can do. You get your original trainer name and you get a unique ID. So it functions almost like a raid den. Seriously, check it out.